All right, guys, welcome to the stream. I had a change in my schedule. Uh, I had the power go out for well, almost four hours. I'm getting my car serviced in the morning, so... Yeah, one of those days I thought I would jump on for a little bit and talk a little bit about Windows this time instead of Linux. Uh, some of the privacy settings, I put privacy in quotation marks. So we'll talk a little bit about that tonight, and then we'll wrap it up for this evening and go to bed. So... We'll give this a few minutes, see if anybody joins in on the chat, inside the chat room. Again, this was unscheduled, but I have a little bit of time uh, before I go to bed. If you are new to the channel, as always, please do stop by and say hello. You gotta make an adjustment here on the mic. Test, test. I think that's a little better. Testing one, two, okay. I think that's a little better. Give me one, one minute, I'll be back in one minute. All right, I'm back. I had to wait for things to cool down here at the house. Today, the warmest, the hottest day of the year so far. And of course, the power had to, had to go out for almost four hours. Oh well. C'est la vie. Such is life, right? All right, I'm good to go here. We'll give this one more minute. Again, if there's anybody joining in late in the chat, please do stop by and say hello. And we'll talk a little bit about Windows 10 for this evening and look at the privacy settings, so. The music, again, is from the YouTube Audio Library, as usual. One of my favorites. Favorite place is to check out some tunes. Let's go ahead and transition. There we go. Again, if you are new to all this, I use both uh, Windows 10 and a form of Linux called Ubuntu Mate. In case you're curious, I'm using OBS, as you see here, screencaster, broadcaster, a cross-platform application for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In case you didn't know it, yes, you do have <laughs> quote-unquote privacy settings in Windows 10. I use the term loosely, of course, but it's there. They're there if you want to take a look at this to make yourself more private on the web, if it's even possible, right? All right. Well, let's get started. So, settings on, under Windows 10, you can just type in privacy and do a search, and this is what pops up here. This is normally how I set up my system. After refreshing it, you have some privacy options here. Let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting. Nah, let websites provide locally relevant content. Again, these are all off. Let Windows track apps. Show me suggested content. Um... Yeah, they're all off. There's some more options here. I don't generally mess with this, such as change my child's privacy settings, privacy settings, manage account privacy settings, get help, make Windows better. Of course, there's a joke. Make Windows better and use Ubuntu. Ha ha. All right. Uh, let's see here. So this is on the general. Let's go to speech. And um, yeah, online speech recognition. Uh, I shut this off. Toggle off. Ink and typing. Uh, 
yeah, personalization, I really don't need this. So that's off. Diagnostic and feedback, there is no off. You can do full or basic, even when basic, it, it sends a lot of telemetry. Um, tailored experiences, let Microsoft offer you tailored experiences, I really don't care. View diagnostic data, uh, turn on the setting to see your data, um, don't really care for that. You can delete, it doesn't really delete it because Microsoft already has your data, so I'm not sure how you would really delete it. But the options there. Feedback, frequency, Windows should ask for my feedback. You know what, let's just do never and move on from there. Activity history. Yeah, I don't have any of these toggled. Uh, clear activity history, you can do that. Um, these settings are okay. App permissions, location. Allow apps to access your location. I do this for the weather report. Although I probably don't even need that on. But um, yeah, I left that on. You have some other fine-tuning choices here. Choose which apps can access your precise location. And pretty much toggled off. Camera. I leave this on for, um, for Skype. Microphone, again, for Skype. Notifications. I mean, if you really wanted to be picky, you can turn off all of this. Um, again, it's personal preference. Contacts, calendar, call history, don't need that, email, um, hmm. yeah, I think I'll leave that off for mail and calendar, um, tasks, and then again, I have this all uh, right here, allow apps to access your tasks, turned off. Now, there are some, you know, apps or some hacks in the registry uh, to make this even more private. There's some even uh, external extra software that you can download. The, the thing is, even if you made this extra private, as it were, once it does updates, it resets everything. So you're back to square one. And of course, even if you had this locked down as private as much as possible, yeah, once you get on the web, are you really private on the web? I don't think so. Uh, but for what it's worth, you can go through this and fine tune your so-called privacy settings, uh, in Windows 10 for what it's worth. So, and that's it, except for doing any extra tweaks in the registry. Be careful because you could damage your system. This is pretty much it, what I do. So, yeah. I don't really do 3D Viewer. Don't really need the Xbox. Again, there are a lot of settings in this thing. So, pictures, file system, yeah. Anyway, so in case you didn't know it, some privacy tweaks for what it's worth in Windows 10. All right, let's go to the chat for a little bit and uh, we'll wrap this up for this evening. Linux Stabler, you are number one in the chat. <laughs> Anybody else out there for this evening? Again, this was late minute, unscheduled. I had the power go out for almost four hours, ruined my day. I have a checkup for the car in the morning, so brakes. So I am on tonight, just uh, cooling off after no AC for almost four hours, so, yeah. So what's up, Dabbler? What's up for this evening? And if we have any, new, uh, any newbies out there, that's what we're here for. You know, this is behind the scenes of what I do, so. That's the music from the library.
Don't be shy. Say hello if anybody else is out there. If not, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Okay, so playing baseball with the kid today. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we had a nice sunny day today. Uh, hot. Uh, 80s here in Ohio. Uh, it was a decent day until the power went out. I guess somebody hit a pole, knocked out a power pole, and yeah, threw off my schedule, so... You know. I think it's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow in the 70s, so that'll be nice. Yeah, 70 tomorrow versus 86 today. All right, I can do that. I'll warm in Alabama. Yeah, I would imagine so. Probably humid too, huh? I finished cutting the grass today. Got that out of the way. With my cordless Black & Decker lawnmower. No gas, no tune-ups, no oil changes, no muffler, nothing. It's great. They should make a lawnmower... Re a Linux re remote control lawnmower. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool through your phone? <laughs> Maybe someone's working on it, right? So sometime this week I'm going to download the latest Peppermint OS and do a full install test and check it out. Uh, let's see, very humid. How long does the battery last in the Black & Decker? Well, the batteries themselves last to be about six years. Um, on a full charge? Um, let's see. Of course, I have a lot of grass to cut, but um, I would say on a full charge, at least a half hour, constant running, which isn't bad, you know. It has three 12-volt lead-acid batteries. I think it's 10 amps. Something like that. Now the newer ones, they got these uh, lithium power packs that uh, I think they do a quick charge in about an hour. These lead acid ones, you have to charge it overnight a good eight to 10 hours and then be ready the next day. So, so the newer ones are more convenient. I don't know if they last as long per charge, but they charge faster. It's kind of like charging a cell phone. But yeah, the Black & Decker, I, I bought at Lowe's and uh, can't complain, man. It's, yeah, it's lasted me uh, in 2012, so yeah, do the math. Or 2011, somewhere, I think it was 20, I, know, I can't remember, somewhere around there, but yeah. It works. About an acre with not much trimming needed. Yeah, ch ch check out, uh, there's a whole new models on, on the Amazon website, uh, Linux Dambler. Check it out. I think it'll give you an idea of acreage and how long the battery lasts and go from there. But try to get one that has quick charge. So in case you forgot to char charge a night before, you're not stuck waiting all day for a charge. But if I was going to buy a new one, that's what I would look into, you know. You're welcome. Yeah, here we have a Lowe's hardware store. They got one there um, for about 300. I forget the name. That's where I bought the original one, so close to home. But yeah, it's nice not having to mess with gas and changing the oil and the filter and it's, it's so annoying. You know, this one here, just plug in the plastic key Push the button, there we go. Easy to clean up. Just uh, blow it dry with my Black & Decker leaf blower, of course. I should have Black & Decker sponsor a video, right? 
anyway. I am not monitoring the uh, the stream, so I don't know how many people are watching. But again, if you are new, don't be shy. And say hello. Well, Linux Stable, you may be the only one here in the chat room tonight. Yeah, special one-on-one -on -one conversation. <laughs> That's cool. You set your wife's laptop up Windows 10 and pretty much turn everything off in the settings, made a local account, no Microsoft account. You can do that, absolutely, yeah. Sure you can. Hello, White Chocolate from Philly. Yep, local account, that's another option, of course. Um, there's another setting that I have really haven't talked about to uh, tune up your... Uh, uh, you can do storage uh, settings to clean things up, too. Such as removing temporary files, that's another option. Yeah, welcome White Chocolate. Yeah, my day uh, kind of went upside down after we lost power for almost four hours, so yeah. I got to get up in the morning, get my car service, look at the brakes. So. We finally had power come on, the AC come came back on, I'm cooling off, and yeah, I thought I would jump on for a little bit. And the Rita, darling, you know, for you, Anna, I'll stay on a little bit longer. I always stay on for the ladies. Well, let's see. Remove Windows Update Cleanup, we can remove that. Optimization file, I'll keep the downloads. Uh, offline pages don't need that. Let's do some cleanup. Hopefully it won't affect the stream. What's up, Anarita? Welcome. Putting your car on the shop Tuesday? Oh, yeah, mine is just maintenance tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes, darling. Welcome. I'm going to have to edit that stream I did a few days ago when I was giving uh, tips. On guys to be guys, how they treat the ladies. You know, the one about the guy, the, the lady doing the car wash, and he sat inside the car, and you were like, there was, what did you say, Anna? There's a screw loose with that guy? I'm going to have to edit that and upload that. So, yeah, larger trunk for the caddy, yeah. Yeah, right. But a bing Well, let's see what Windows is doing tonight. Yep, four gigs of RAM to do all this. Sounds about right. Anyway. Yeah, screw loose. Yeah, I... You know, there are girls that complain, where are all the real men? It can't be just me. I mean, see, I can't be that special. So... <laughs> not, not the brightest tool in the toolbox. I know, yeah, really. Uh, oh, the car multi-point inspection. 
Yeah, here in Ohio, there is no mandatory yearly inspection, but I do it anyway with white chocolate. Here, I mean, the, the potholes are so bad, you know. So, yeah, I do it once a year, usually be before winter time. Have them pull it up on the rack, so, yeah. And, and ladies do that too. Get your car checked, safety inspected once a year. If, 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 if your man doesn't do it, you do it. Yeah, treating ladies is not hard, but ladies need to treat men the same. I totally agree. It's a partnership. It's a, it's 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 teamwork. You know. Um, totally agree. Those of you who are joining in late, you can replay the stream. And uh, we, we took a look at some of the privacy settings in Windows 10. I, have, I don't do a lot of Windows 10 streams. More, or less, I guess I should do more Windows 10 for the simple, uh, you know, for the Windows folks. You the dishes and I cook. That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't mind doing dishes. You want to know why? Because I use pa paper plates. But a big. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to, to throw away all the dishes. <laughs> Let's go next song. There we go. <laughs> See, smart. Hello, Linux programmer. Welcome. <laughs> yes, I'm a smart romantic fool. The roads in the air are pretty bad. Yeah. There's three different road construction areas between your home. Wow. Yeah, there's always construction here. You know what's so bad here? Last month, somebody on Facebook posted a duck swimming in one of the potholes at Walmart. I mean, I love animals, but come on. Sleepy! What's up, Sleepy? How you doing? Yeah, we had a duck swimming in a pothole here in Ohio. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Ladies need real plates? Um, I, I, I can understand that, but I mean, unless you're just having pizza or, you know, ordering takeout for the house, do you really need real plates? I mean, if you're doing home cooking, I would say real plates, but yeah, for fast food or stuff like that, yeah, just paper plates. Most car dealers do free multi-point inspection. Ah, uh, okay, very good. Sleepy at work, enjoying lunchtime chat. Very good. Yes, uh, okay for a pizza for paper plates, yes. Or Chinese food takeout or anything takeout or you know frozen dinner in the microwave or something like that. But if you're gonna do a home cooked meal, then I would say real plates. Don't forget the wine, the red wine. But this purging Windows update is taking its time. Jeez. Oh well. Not that it matters. Frozen dinner's big no no. Okay. Unless she wants it, right? Right. If I'm gonna, you know, get dinner and she wants this or that's frozen, that's or frozen pizza. That's, I love I love DiGiorno's frozen pizza. It's not bad for frozen, so yeah. Your wife and I only real plates. We have company or cook steak. Yes, for steaks, absolutely. Paper fine china, okay. Pizza, paper plates, yes. Yes, I know the ladies like real food, but they also like fast food, like pizza. I know. You know, the white wine and fish sounds good to me. Man, I'm getting hungry again. Jeez. I actually have this bag of honey barbecue chips sitting next to me on the floor. And I'm so tempted to grab it and start crunching. But I'll hold off. Yeah. Salmon and tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Wine is always welcome here. Just don't drink three three glasses of wine and try to do something uh, in, the, in the Canaan Live. Yeah, just simple windows maintenance. Um, yeah, I was showing the privacy settings of Windows 10 and 
There's a storage app uh, that people may not know about where you can set this to change how free up space automatically, free up space now, change where new content. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling a lot of people don't know this. So, you know, keep the clutter off your PC, get help freeing space. I'll worry about this. I don't have a lot on this one. So just 45 gigabytes used out of uh, 420. So it isn't much here. But yeah, just a little tip for this evening. Too many settings? Yeah, it's almost as bad as, as Kubuntu. So, yeah, tonight doing Windows instead of Linux. Just to show Linux newbies, you don't have to give up Windows to try Linux. Nothing to be afraid of. This cleanup. How to do that. <laughs> KDE drives OCD nuts, yeah. I know. XFC is clean, yeah, it's fast. Uh, I have heard about the God mode. Yes, I have heard about it. Gnostic. I don't think that'll fix the privacy telemetry thing, Gnostic, but I have heard about it, yeah. Mate, where, yeah, Ma, Ma, Mate is very lightweight. Hello, Mark's, uh, she, uh, Mark Seals, welcome. You have an HP 15 notebook, Pentium, make gigs of RAM running MX18, uh, use Google Chrome. If browse the web, the whole computer freezes up. Freezes up with 8 gigs of RAM? Wow. Uh, that should not happen. Um, hmm. I don't know, Mark. Check check the forum, but yeah, that should not happen, e even with the Pentium. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Sleepy says it's 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 caddy mode for talk. Yeah, caddy mode. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, Mark. It should not happen. Yeah. Don't call me landing does it tour. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't think that'll solve the telemetry issue. So, yeah. Is it only freezing up with Google Chrome, Mark? Or have you tried Firefox? Try a different browser. Firefox. Opera, Vivaldi, uh, those might work. I've never had a problem with Chrome freezing up. Would beast on YouTube. Hi, Lenny. Is Lenny in the house? <laughs> Only on Google Chrome, huh? Okay. I'm not sure. Um, try deleting Google Chrome and reinstalling it. See if that makes any difference. But I have not had issues with Google Chrome on anything. Waterfox, it works, okay. I've tested Waterfox before, it's fine. I don't have the blues song on this list do I oh well yeah uh, uninstall Chrome reinstall um, still have an issue check the forum uh, but that's what I would do if you still have an issue just use a different browser there's, there's lots of choices so or uh, you can install the 32-bit MX and see if that makes any difference <laughs> you have to dust all oh, the poor Anarita, poor baby. You need to dust the mom and mom, poor baby. I use Swiffer and a portable vacuum, Anarita. It works fine. Yeah, no big deal. You know, Swiffer and a portable vacuum, portable Black and Decker vacuum, and you're good to go. 
Yeah, you you can still install 32-bit uh, Mark on a 64-bit. It won't it won't harm anything. Uh, but see if that makes any difference too. Yeah, any difference also. So, but yeah. Yep, we all hate dust. I leave dust in the dust, right? But yeah, Mark, try to if you still have issues, uh, try 32-bit. Check the forum first. But yeah, installing 32-bit on a 64-bit is not gonna hurt hurt anything. But can you vacuum a side table? Uh, well, if you have an attachment to it, like a brush attach, just use the Swiffer. Jeez. You must use the Swiffer to terminate dust. <laughs> Install Peppermint pe 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 at work. Nice, okay. Ah, definitely faster at boot up. Yeah, I'll try Peppermint 10 sometime this week. Household dust is mostly dead since sin skin cells. Wow. Thanks, Sleepy. I'll sleep better tonight. <laughs> so we're all showing some skin, huh? Bada bing. Oh my. Uh, what time is it? I'll probably wrap this up around 11-ish. So again, if there's anybody new watching, uh, Mark, I, I, I don't know if you're new to the stream, but welcome, Mark, uh, if you are. If not, you're welcome anyway. Spring cleaning, Anna Rita, very good. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry, but I better not eat this late. I'll, I'll never fall asleep. wonder if Windows is doing any updates. It already did today. Very good. So I'm good to go. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, you watch all the time. You love Linux. Very good. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear. I used to work with a guy years ago, and we pretended to be lovers. I mean, we're not, but he would call me on the phone, and he would answer the phone, yes. And I would say, oh, lovey, how are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, those were the days. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I have to get the car check. I have to do some cleaning around the house, but uh, not too much. Yes, yes, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll be your nickname, Anarita Lovey. Oh, Lovey's in the house. People go, what? What? Who's Lovey? What? What? Yeah, it's Lovey. <laughs> anyway, you don't want to, you don't want to end up in the doghouse. <laughs> Roof. Ah, okay. This next song is Tuba Waddle. This is what I use for some of the some of the some of the news and nonsense intro. Tuba Waddle. Do, 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 do. Sounds like I ate too much Taco Bell in. Again, all the music is from the YouTube audio library, so check it out. <laughs> that's right. That that's exactly where Gnostic. You you are. It's ex it was from Thurston Howell from uh, Gilligan's Island. Oh, lovey. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, your nickname is Honey. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I 
Yes. When you're in trouble, it's Anna WTF or Anna. Wow, the female. Or not. <laughs> yes. I like this song. Tumbleweed texts, I think of a western, like with Clint Eastwood. High Plains Drifter, right? Anyway. Need more blue blood accent, not New York. Hey, you got a problem with New York? Hey, 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 pal. Uh, ah, that's a small house, yes. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. That is true. But it shouldn't take as long to clean either, right? Turn off my cell phone for the evening. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Gilligan's Island, yeah. There were definitely some good looking girls on that show, right? Ginger and uh Ginger and Marianne? Yeah. Ten minute warning, guys and ladies. Anybody new in the chat? Now's your time to say hello. Mary Ann, oh yeah. And Ginger. Mrs. Howell. Oh lovey. Yes. <laughs> I don't watch that much TV anymore. I watch, I've been watching uh, National Geographic with uh, Morgan Freeman, a series called The Story of God about the history of religion and God. It's very interesting. Of course, more, this is Morgan Freeman. You need to watch Total OS today because he's the best damn Linux channel on YouTube. So we'll mosey on down to Total OS today and make sure you support us channel throw him a couple coffee tips and make him feel like he's the man this is morgan freeman signing off there's a comedian on youtube you know gps in your car what if your your what if the G gps in your car had the voice of morgan freeman all righty then so about 100 feet up the road make sure you turn right or you can turn left the decision is entirely yours and after you go around in circles you can just beat yourself on the head but just keep going straight till you reach the cliff and say a prayer this is morgan freeman for a gps <laughs> uh my or something like that yes toss a romantic fool with italian connections man that's right Comcast has now 13,000 free movies? Really? Wow, on demand? I did not know that. <laughs> Tell your father. <laughs> Loves it's the female voice. GPA, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Took the G mob, the voice. <laughs> the mob took the GPS off the car. Who are you talking to? I think we should have Arnold Schwarzenegger as the GPS voice. Bah, where are you going, you fool? Make a left, terminate that stop sign. Good to be here in the car. <laughs> yeah, we should. We 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 could have famous people doing GPS voice. We could have uh, Sylvester Stallone's Rock. Hey yo, 
Hey, uh, yeah, on, on, on second street there, I'll make a left, okay? Hey, pal, yeah, 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 yo. Yeah, Arnie, poor Arnie was drop kicked. I guess it barely affected him, but that was pretty stupid. Yeah, why did he do it? Why did why did the guy do it? I don't know. If Xfinity promotion, yeah, I signed up for two years, locked in a well a higher lower rate. I was gonna go to AT and T, um, save myself about fifty bucks a month, which helps out the channel, but. It, it caps at five megabytes, and I figure, you, you know what, I could use the money, but I went back to Comcast, so hopefully PayPal will cover the costs of running it, so we'll see. Yeah. Yes, he's still big for his age, Sleepy, absolutely, yeah. Uh, he's in pretty good shape overall. He's working on the next Terminator movie, Terminator 6. Terminating all telemetry. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Aha, interesting. And Arita. Okay, where are we here? Five minute warning, and we'll wrap this up. Let's keep the music going for a little bit. So this week I'll install Peppermint 10, I believe, for a full test. I see, yes. Luck be a lady tonight. It's playing Frank Sinatra. You make me feel so young. You make me feel like spring has sprung. Classic song. Ah, Samuel L. Jackson, yes. We'll have him as a GPS. Come on, man, make a left there, fool. Where you going, fool? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, let's see. Let's go to this one. Front porch blues. Twenty three dot one dot zero. Okay. Yep, Anna WTF, Anna, wow, the female. <laughs> da, 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 da. Let's uh, make this the last song, Spanish Rose, 
for the lady in the house. And then that'll be it for tonight. So next uh, Monday is Memorial Day, yeah. Seven years, happy marriage, very good. That's more than most Linux distros have existed at Arita, so good for you. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Could write a book. That's right. It's the book of Toss. Toss's tips on romance, right? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to be heading to bed soon, Linux Dabbler. Thank you for stopping by, and um, catch you on the next one. Ciao. I'll tell you a funny story. Years ago, I had a, one of my friends set me up with a blind date with a young lady. So we met at a local restaurant, and... Uh, she didn't really talk much. She was a good listener, but she didn't say much. A Anna Rita, th this story is for you. So, you know, I mean, she smiled. She was polite. She was nice. But, you know, she didn't talk much. The The, uh, the communication was one way, which, you know, for me, it didn't matter. But I thought, well, there's nothing really here, so I'm just going to let it go, you know. And that was it. A week later, yes, than a week, week later, after the blind date, uh, my friend calls. He says, uh, "Did you, I see you talk to the?" I say, yeah, "I spoke to her," and uh, he says, "What did you do to her?" I'm like, "Nothing. I, I what? I didn't touch her." So what? What happened? Because it make it sound like something bad. He says, "What'd you do to her?" I said, "I didn't do anything." I said, why? Because he says, she won't stop talking about you. I'm like, what? But talk about mixed signals. Now, you know, this is before cell phones, you know, and all that. But he says, she won't stop talking about you. I'm like, wow. Well, yeah, but that was a bit awkward. You know, when the conversation's one way, of course, now it's different time, you know. But anyway, I just thought I would share that funny story with you. So, of course, now with the internet and, you know, it's a different time. But, uh Anyway, she wound up getting married, having kids. Yeah, but that was, that was strange. Anyway, I don't know my own strength. So, anyway, that was that. Little Morgan Freeman, not the little. This is Morgan Freeman. Make sure you subscribe to Toss and say hello. He's such a fine gentleman. Oh well. I haven't seen her in a while. No, she's a she's a nice lady. You know, just different personalities. And you know what? Anarita that happens. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's just just one of those things, so so <laughs> wife says you talk hey, hey Anna, pal, uh you freaking talk too much, okay? Knock it down a bit, hey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes too much communication is better than too little communication, right? Yeah. Uh, link for Morgan. I'll have to check out Morgan Freeman. Anyway. All right. Last minute. Any last minute comments? Any last minute newbies who joined in and want? To, I'm not monitoring this the uh, the uh, stream, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> as long as you don't say too much, your marriage is fine. Okay. Now remember, Sleepy, here's a secret for ladies to making them happy. Haagen-Dazs, Haagen dazs ice cream and Hershey's chocolate kisses. Yeah, that'll solve everything. 
So yeah. Chocolate brownies doesn't hurt either, right? Yeah. See, see? Yeah. I know how to treat the ladies. Yeah. Bingo. Sure. No cookies. Will she eat once you finish with the ice cream <laughs> and the chocolate? <laughs> Baskin Robbins, peanut butter ice cream, yeah. Yep. I buy Klondikes for myself at the local Kroger's for a snack. So, yeah. Anyway, all right, gentlemen and ladies, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, there for her. Die. What do you think is sleeping there for her? <laughs> of course, there for her. Anyway, well, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for uh, stopping by, all of you, for this uh, unscheduled chat. Always a pleasure. And I'll, I'll catch you, I guess, sometime during the week. Still got to post uh, my review of the Scepter TV I bought from my mom for Mother's Day. Quite a bargain, if I say so myself. So, um, yeah, that's it for tonight. Have a good night. Be safe, be cool, and thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. So I'll just say, Arrivederci.